The Hawaii chapter of Mothers Against Drunk Driving, or MAD, turned 35 this month. The founder of the group is Carol McNamee. She works tirelessly to spread the word about the dangers of driving while impaired. KT4's Diana Cole profiles her and this day is aging well. For three years, I was... 35 years after founding Mothers Against Drunk Driving's Hawaii chapter, Carol McNamee is still in the driver's seat of the group that works to keep Hawaii's roads safer. When she started the mission in 1984, she and her first office staffer thought it would be temporary and made a pact. We'll do it five years. So he said, this is, this is a pact, five years. We got to five years and we went, there's so much to do. There are so many victims. We can't quit. After a while, they realized the need for their type of road warriors would not end. We stopped saying we're going to quit when, <laughs> and we just kept going. The super senior, as she refers to herself, realizes she doesn't want to retire. Slow down, maybe, but quit? I don't know. <laughs> Over the decades, it's given her purpose. Just the exercise of working all these years on all kinds of things, including the, the legislation. It's also given her a work family. Being involved in this cause and having my mad buddies for years and years. McNamee ages well with a healthy lifestyle. In later years, my husband and I became vegetarians. She exercises often. Every day there's something. I either walk or I play some tennis as well. So get some kind of exercise almost every day, but Sunday. <laughs> Sunday I sleep in. Above all, McNamee says she's grateful for her family, her children, grandchildren, and husband. I've been married for 58 years, and same person. <laughs> and he's a funny guy. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> I tell him, I've, um, because of you, I've never been bored. A balance of work, play, connection, and love keeps McNamee young at heart and able to keep striving to reach Mad's vision of no more victims. Diana Ko, KITV4 Island News. She has been out at the state capitol advocating for those traffic bills.